Hello, this is Rai Snow. So a while ago, I uploaded a video about how to detect mouse event. So you can let the program recognize user's mouse movement or and uh, also mouse clicking and uh, let the specific action happens. And this time I'm going to explain how to detect not mouse event, but keyboard event. So this means you can let some specific action happen when user typed a certain key on the keyboard. For example, when you play games on PC, often you can use some shortcut keys, like uh, when you press I key, then the uh, inventory opens. And uh, when you press M key, then the uh, map, map screen opens, uh, stuff like that. So by detecting this keyboard event, basically you can let users control your game by keyboard. But anyway, I think I should explain it uh, with an um, example. So let me make another simple sample program. Traveler. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Yeah, so I just made a simple window and a JFrame window and a panel for this J label, text label, and I put the text here. So it's like always. And uh, so next step is we are going to create a handler with key listener so we can we can detect a user's keyboard input okay so here uh, public class uh, I'm gonna name this key handler and uh, implements here key listener key listener and uh, import key listener and here similar to mouse listener uh, here first override and uh, public void uh, key pressed and the key event e and then another override and uh, next is key released and key event e. So this is like a default format, just like a mouse listener override. And uh, third one is key typed. So you can set specific action for each this uh, keyboard event, key pressed. So there are three methods, key pressed and the key released and the key typed. This time we are going to use only this key pressed. So this means, uh, as you can probably guess, when user pressed a key, then something happens. So you can, you can write the result here and uh, import yeah import and this time i'm going to let this program detect m key and uh, enter key and uh, one key okay so first i'm gonna make a switch here and uh, inside of this bracket first e dot e means this key event e dot get key code and uh, round bracket and the case so the first case is key event dot 
uh, vk underline 1. This basically means if user press the 1 key on their keyboard, then so I'm gonna just use this text label and uh, display some text. Set text and uh, yeah, you pressed one or something and the break. So this is okay, done. And the next case is key event dot vk so you can see a lot of like uh, example here so these are all what you need to type to detect certain key so there are many selections like this so this is zero zero key one key two key three key four key and uh, so a a key or alt key or yeah b key a lot of things actually f F key or and so this time I I'm gonna choose M key hmm so type like this VK M and then label set text and uh, yeah that's M or something and the break and one more I think so key event and uh, this time vk enter so text label set text and uh, yeah omg that's enter and the break so this time we are only displaying text, but uh, of course you can do other stuff as well, it's like uh, calling as a method or uh, displaying some other object or whatever. Yeah, basically anything. And uh, just like mouse listener, we need to add key listener to this window. So otherwise this window doesn't respond to your like a keyboard keyboard pressing. So window dot add key listener and uh, oh yeah and uh, so we we need to add handler so uh, this key handler key handler so like k handler. And add this key handler to this window. Okay, so this should be fine, I think. So let's check this program. Okay, so first I'm gonna press 1. Okay, and next M key. Mm. And uh, now enter. So like this, yeah, so this is how you use key listener, but uh, when you use this key listener, uh, there is something you need to be careful. So let me continue this a little bit more and uh, explain that as well. So to explain this problem, I'm going to add J button to this window. Okay, J bottom bottom. And so let me make a button handler as well for this J button. Okay, uh, text label set text you pressed the button so this means 
if you press this J button, then uh, this text is displayed. Button uh, handler handler call new button handler. So I just added this J button. Uh, so first, let me press one key or M key or enter key. One, I'm pressing one or M. I'm pressing M now and enter. So nothing happens. And the problem is this J button that we just added. Mm, how to explain? So when you use key listener, you, you have to think about which part of the window is focused right now. So for example, right now, so I'm selecting this Eclipse. And uh, so I'm since I'm selecting Eclipse, when I type something, then uh, so I can type these characters here. But if this window is not focused, so like, uh, yeah, this window is focused, then uh, even if I type something here, but uh, you know, I cannot type anything on this Eclipse because this Eclipse is not focused right now. So mm, a kind of a similar thing is happening. And uh, when we didn't have this J button, then uh, focus is, you know, program could only focus on this window. But now this J button is appeared. Basically, in this case, there are two things that it can focus on. So whenever you use this key listener, so you have to be aware which object or which part of the window is focused right now. So to avoid this situation, first I'm gonna add something to this window, window dot uh, set focusable mm. and true. And uh, let's check this. And uh, let me type uh, one key again. So now, so it's working. So it detect your keyboard input. Uh, but if you press this button, okay. So you press the button, and uh, if you press one key or M key or Enter key now, then it doesn't respond again because the focus uh, just switched to this J button. So this, how to say, this window is no longer focused, but this J button is focused now. Yeah, it's a bit uh, annoying, but uh, we have to let this window regain the focus again. And so how to do that? Uh, okay, so in this case, uh, so after this button was pressed, you type like this window dot request focus. So window request focus. So by typing like this, you can let this window regain its focus. Okay, let's check this again. Okay, so first one M enter, so it's working and uh, button pressed. You press the button and uh, yeah, and uh, one M enter, M one enter. So it's still responding. It's still detecting your keyboard input because we let this window regain the focus. Yeah, it's a bit complicated. But if you remember this request focus and uh, getting the focus back, then uh, I think uh, it won't be so difficult. Yeah, I think that's it for this program and uh, on the next video I'm gonna implement this key listener to adventure so you can play adventure by only using keyboard so that's what I'm going to create next time mm. okay so that's it for now and thank you very much for watching and see you again bye